neck pain and neck stiffness is a debilitating issue and it's suffered by many, many people. In this video today, let me cover a simple, a simple outline of some stretches that you can do at home, but stretches with a little bit of an added extra that you can do at home to relieve neck pain and increase your flexibility and movement through your neck. To understand the neck, you have to understand the neck has got seven small bones within it and the weight of our head is very heavy considering the small size of the bones in the neck. Between the bones in the neck are the discs, which are the cushioners, which allow some, some um, squishiness and some flexible, flexible movement to occur between the vertebra. So the other thing that's important to understand is from the side, a neck should have a curve like that. And it's very important that the neck has that curve because that's how the weight of the head can get held over the neck in a way where the neck bones can sustain the weight of the head over the duration of your life. Unfortunately, nowadays, many people have lost the shape of their neck. And I know this because I look at a lot of x-rays of necks. So instead of there being a nice neck curve like so, it's often straight up or it's forward, rounded forward in the opposite direction. What that does is that increases the effective weight of the head through those small neck bones. It leads to a compressive force through the neck, which it can't sustain. Over time, this leads to neck pain, headaches quite possibly, and a loss of movement through your neck. So difficulty in twisting, difficulty in side bending, difficulty in looking up, looking down, all the different directions of movement. So let's cover some simple stretches that you can do with that added little extra to increase your neck range of movement and decrease the pain in your neck that you may be suffering. So the next stretches that I wanna cover involve moving your neck sideways and rotating your neck. So the simple level one stretch is that you move your neck to the side and hold it for up towards 15 seconds. Then you repeat it to the other side. And then you repeat that whole process three times. 15 seconds each side, three times each side. That's level one. Level one rotation is you rotate your neck as far around as you can. You hold it for 15 seconds. Then you rotate it to the other direction. You hold it for 15 seconds. You repeat each side three times. Level two, this will take you into further range of movement and it's a handy tip to understand. So what you do with level two is you do the same movement to start with. You lean over to the side. But as you get to the stretch point, you put your hand onto, if you're leaning to your right, you put your hand on the left side of your head and you push your neck and head in towards your hand. And the hand is resisting the head movement, so your head doesn't move, but it's trying to move back to a straight position. And you hold that for about a count of five, and then you relax. Then you move it further over, and once again, you push in for a count of five, and then you relax. Then you move it over, and again, you push in for a count of five and relax. So you, you do that stretch in three separate parts. You move over and you push. Then you move further and you push. Then you move further and you push. Five second push each side, each time. Then repeat the opposite direction. With rotation, very similar. We rotate to the side and then we put our hand, if we're rotating to the right, we put our hand on our left cheek and we push into our hand like we're coming to bring our head to the front direction. We're pushing into our hand, we relax after five seconds and we go further. Then we push into our hand, we relax after five seconds, we go further. So you do five seconds or five, count to five push three different segments. 
the segment where you've got a little bit of rotation, then you go to further rotation, then you go to the extreme edge of rotation. Naturally, you do these stretches both directions. And how I would suggest you do this is you do the initial stretches first, the general hold, 15 seconds each direction. Run through that completely and finish it. Then add in the second ladder. That's the one where we're using the resistance into our hand. Now, if you do those stretches, I can almost guarantee you, you'll benefit from it. You'll feel an increased range of movement in your neck. You'll have less pain because more mobility usually equals less pain. And if you get in the habit of doing it, so you don't just do it reactionary to when you have pain, but you get in the habit of doing this on a daily basis, over a long period of time, there's great benefits to be had. I hope this information about those simple neck stretches has been useful to you. If you have any questions, please comment and I'll do my best to answer any comments. Wherever you are, have a great day. Stay well. Cheers.